Hi everybody, this is my first video. I'm Stefano from Stilograph Corsani in Rome. Uh, most of you probably already know me, but uh, for all the others, uh, this is the first time I approach you with a video. Uh, there is actually a really good motive to do it for the first time, that is uh, the release of my uh, custom-made pen with the, in exclusive with Visconti. It's, I have called it red octagonal because uh, it's, I've used uh, the red stacked celluloid uh, that is very precious and uh, I've used the last roads uh, available in uh, Visconti. Uh, it's a pen that I really love because uh, it's uh, close to my heart uh, because my first uh, custom made pen was made with Visconti and was in stacked celluloid, the grey one. So this is a project that spans uh, a longer one year. It will start with this red one, it will be followed by a green one, and then with the re-edition of my Corsani Novanta in grey celluloid. The occasion is really, uh, it's really tentative because uh, uh, I've used for the first time for this pen the new uh, nib unit in-house made by Visconti from the very good hands of, uh, precious hands of the um, Florentine master goldsmiths. The result is really gorgeous. This is, uh, uh, for example, uh, the extra fine one. I will clean it a bit for you and then we will have a close look. For those of you that are uh, already are uh, a very good experience of nibs, they will probably notice immediately the difference with the Bok one. This one is more, it's longer, it's a little bit thinner and it writes really wonderfully, especially the fine tips. Uh, I am uh, an extra fine writer and this one uh, I, find it, I find it now to be one of the best Western ones I've ever tried. And uh, I will show how it writes to you now. I will show it along with the fine tip the medium one and the broad. This is a completely improvised video, so I hope I won't have any bad experiences or because this is something I'm trying with you right now. Let's put on my glasses because I'm no longer young as before. my red octagonal as you can immediately let me clean it a bit as you can imme immediately see how thin the line of this extra fine is it's incredible I love it it's really really difficult to find a western solid gold nib that writes so thin and so precise Really, really love it. I can't uh, define it as a, as a flex nib. It's not absolutely a flex nib. It's quite stiff. But uh, it follows you perfectly. It's really smooth for an extra fine. I don't find... I don't feel any resistance, any scratch. I really, really love it. Let's take a look better at it and let's try a fine. As you can see, it's more wet, it becomes softer, it's really larger than the fine, but uh, incredibly, really incredibly beautiful. 
I'm so proud to see such a work made by an Italian craftsman. Of course I am. Let's uh, try a medium. We might find not a huge, a huge difference, but no, it's exactly the, the difference I wanted to have. I want to see this distance among the fine and the medium. It's wet, but not too much. It's smooth. I'm really astonished, really, 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 really astonished how it follows perfectly the line without abandoning me once. And the details, the red enameled clip, yep, yeah. I'm really happy with it. And finally, let's take a good look at, at the broad one. I'm not a huge fan of broad nibs, but so I'm not really good at uh, riding with it. But and uh, as you can see, as you can see, uh, this collection of nibs, these new nibs by Visconti are rather thinner than the usual Western ones. So you can probably immediately recognize that this broad is not one of the largest or, or ones, but it's wet. No bottom problems, baby bottom problems. It writes wonderfully with the perfect amount of uh, flow and ink that one expects from a good solid gold nib and then finally to have a good review of this pen i must uh, immediately uh, point out to the filling system you probably everybody knows about it it's the well-known patented double reservoir by visconti that allows you to bring the pen with you even on an airplane without having leaking uh, any kind of leaking uh, because uh, the two reservoirs are separated uh, one from each other and uh, can only be um, linked unscrewing the bottom part of the pen so what can I say I am only hope that you will enjoy this pen as much as I do and uh, I really looking forward to showing you the next one, the green one. For now, I thank you all for uh, listening to me. I hope uh, I haven't been too much uh, uh, bore boring. <laughs> and uh, for the next time, uh, I, I hope you will follow me. And uh, especially, I wish you a very good summer, a very enjoyable and uh, lovely August. Bye everyone.